Hi everybody, here's Elizabeth from ElizabethHolman.com. Today I'm going to show you a plugin called All-in-One SEO plugin. Um, a very good plugin actually that makes uh, your website or your blog to be um, Google friendly. Now what you need to do is to install it. I've already installed it but for the purpose of this uh, a tutorial I'll just show you uh, that I've already installed it. Here it is, all in one SEO pack. <coughs> Once you have installed it, we go over to the settings and that will be here, all in one SEO. And we do the settings actually very, very easy, not, not, nothing to really, you know, be worried about. So you have to enable it. And then here on the title, which actually if you see my title, if I go in and hoover with my mouse on my blog, you'll already see my title written there and that's what I've written here. I've just written my name and what, what I'm really going to be specializing or be offering the readers who are getting into my blog. <coughs> And then on the home description, I took the liberty to um, to brand myself. So I was just off, I was just talking about what I am, what makes me unique, and what am I offering, uh, what other people may not necessarily be offering, and what my whole website uh, is about. And under the home keys, I gave some very strong keys about what actually my website will be offering, and that is affiliate network marketing marketers niche domination so actually you should also just concentrate on your niche and capitalize on that really um, I clicked in here with the canicles URLs I I checked that and I checked that as well I did not make any changes here at all I just left them the way it is a bit technical for me there then I went in and I checked this that I want uh, SEO for custom post types I want that to be appearing there as well. <coughs> the metas, I checked all that up. I checked also the tags. Um, and from there on, you just go in and you update then your options. Uh, if you're not very sure, you're not very happy about it, you can always go back and, and reset, you know, reset settings to default. So then once you do that, every time you do a new post or a new page, you are always going to see this at the bottom of your posting or of your page which you then have to customize according to um, according to exactly what what your posting or your page is uh, actually about at the time that you're doing the writing so it should look like this and uh, there it is here is the all-in-one SEO pack so basically I put in always the title here, the title of my blog, and I put in also, I also put in um, a portion of, the, or just a taster or a teaser actually, uh, of what the, the, the posting is going to be about, it should be about 160 characters. Uh, or about f yeah, 401 characters actually. So you really have you know quite a quite a big portion there where you can write um, a whole you know teaser. I like to keep it uh, short and simple. And then um, I put in all the what I think were the strong um, uh, keywords that are going to come up in the article. I'm going to put them there again. And uh, I just do for the sake of you know um, that you can see also that I put them also here the post tags but this has got actually nothing to do with the SEO I just do it extra and then of course when you publish it uh, it should all come out um, <coughs> only at the back side but basically you are going to see the changes or the additions that you've done should look like this so these are the SEO title the keywords and the description of the post so every time you can be adding that all the time to all the new posts that you have so it makes it even much more <coughs> SEO friendly uh, as it defines yourself much more it defines yourself and your blog as well so I do hope that uh, you've enjoyed that uh, video training and if you want more you can always come up to my website that will be www.elizabethholman.com
where you can also take up uh, free training which is being offered by a great team run by Joe and that is actually where I learned all this so I do hope that um, our, the information was some use to you and look forward to your next to visiting my website next time bye for now